hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to erase part of a graphic here in canva let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in canva i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Erasing part of a graphic here in Canva is a straightforward process. Once you are logged into your account, I want you to open the design that you're working with or an existing project. If you haven't already, just click on the create a design. You can choose from the following templates. If you're using for social media, presentations, whiteboards, videos, and even print products. In my case, I'm going to be choosing the social media i'm gonna be choosing the youtube thumbnail because after recording this video i'm gonna upload a thumbnail alongside with it in our deep Labs youtube channel i'm gonna click on the uploads right here now i'm gonna use this specific image right here okay now if you want to erase a part of a graphic in canva all you have to do is click on the edit button here that would lead you to the options you see there's going to be something like eraser now there's going to be an option here that says magic eraser but before you can use this tool i want to make sure that now there should be an option that says magic eraser but i wanted to let you know that before you can use the magic eraser you must subs need to subscribe to the canva pro because that will unlock this feature if you click on it you see there's going to be a brush option you can increase the brush size i'm gonna zoom out the image right here you can increase the brush size to you want it i wanted to erase everything here so the purple color is not painting the image with purple but instead that is going to be the affected area click on erase and the area that you clicked will be gone or erase all right so just wait for it you see that magically all right that's why it's magic eraser it it, it gives wonders of course i'm going to work on the text again click on erase basically that's how you can do it just wait for it to load there you go now let me undo everything here all right so how about we create another image right here for example um we're looking about the photos how about the halloween okay for example this um i have two images I wanted to work with uh this guy i wanted to remove the background if you are subscribed to the canva pro that's going to be a lot easier because all i have to do is click this background remover and that's it it works wonders right if i click this again this one right here click the background remover and voila right you can do this every day all day background remover so that's it that's basically how you erase a part of a graphics now how about we click another image and say in this instance i wanted to erase the uh the uh the, the, the pumpkins right here and the squash all i'm gonna do again is click to the edit click the uh, magic eraser this time we're going to use the click right a click right here all right so that so it it, it does, doesn't work in every photo right wait for it to load you see that that's gonna be the click if you click on erase what will happen is part of the image will be gone or will be removed or erased now it takes a little bit of time depending on your internet connection and of course your computer specifications you see that that's what happened all right now 
if you click on another image again say for example uh, a photo i wanted to use this and i wanted to maybe go to the edit section you see the magic grab right here i'm gonna click this and this is going to be the actual surface area that's going to be affected click on the brush type in remove and click on generate you see it is suggesting that magic eraser may be a better option for this edit but of course i'm giving you options right Okay, so this one right here. Click on done. All right, so if you go to the, again, hover to the magic eraser, I'm gonna click this. Click this one again. And of course, click on create or erase. I'm sorry. Wait for it. it takes a little while. There you go. Now, Another option that you can explore, for example, um, I'm going to, this is going to be in the manual. If you don't have the subscription to the Canva Pro user, there's a limitation on how you can erase or remove part of a graphics. For example, you're going to be looking at this subject and you wanted, you just wanted to retain this um, image right here at the uh, bottom right corner. All you have to do is use and utilize and be creative on using the crop image. Okay, wrap it out, and boom, you have already removed some parts of the subject. You can do this again here. For example, I wanted to retain the black kid. Of course, you can utilize, remove the other unnecessary image here, and retain the kid with the black um, witch hat. Same thing here. I'm going to retain the candle only, and that's that. I'm going to click on the... Uh, full screen make sure that everything we got so far is good all right and of course if a graphic or image needs to fit a specific shape area or frame within your design erasing parts of it can help ensure that it integrates seamlessly without taking up too much space now these are some of the reasons why erasing or modifying parts of a graphic is often necessary to achieve a more polished personalized and effective design here in canva that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one